Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Not a lot of shooting today because it's just too cold. It's crazy cold. I mean, it's like I have this little thermometer here. If I look, it's about minus nine degrees Celsius. Very cold. So, but that's ideal to further test on the behavior of rubber. A lot of people said that thermal energy has nothing to do with the elastic energy in here. Um, so let's stretch out this band and then wait until it gets really cold and see how much power it has left. Okay, so let's test how warm it is now. The bands are about 6.3 degrees centigrade. I just brought them outside from my basement. So that makes about sense. So let's see. In the meantime, I have a new t-shirt sponsor. And um, it's a great heavy metal band from the US, I think. Uh, they sent me the t-shirt and the CD and I, I'm not sure which one I like more. Great music, I mean, look at their titles. <laughs> My kind of titles. <laughs> and the best is, because I got so many people that don't believe what I'm saying regarding thermal energy and rubber, that they have the greatest thing printed on the back. <laughs> one more thing. Because shooting in the cold requires warming the bands. I bought this little Zippo hand warmer. It's really great. It burns for about 12 hours if you fill it up with uh, gas. And um, if you wrap it around the bands, they will be nice and warm. So for those who want to hunt, that makes sense. Don't you like this new slingshot that I made over the week? It's a Zebrano wood. Really pretty hammerhead design with aluminum forks. Okay, then let's wait until the bands are cold enough. Okay, let's see what has happened. First of all, let's check, let's check how warm the bands are. Minus 6.4, minus, minus, okay, it's about minus five and a half. Let's see what happened. See, it's almost no more stretch. And see these peculiar wrinkles here? This is what bands do that are way too cold. Now let's check if we can warm them up. See? They got the original shape back. They're stretchy again. That's just because when I pull them out, heat is automatically generated. I think that's the final proof. Rubber stores energy thermally. <laughs> well, that was it for today. I hope you liked it, even though I didn't shoot. Thanks and bye-bye.